My name is Avery Kassar. We're here at, at Sarah's Table, Chester Creek Cafe in Duluth, Minnesota, on the East Hill side. Uh, we are a restaurant that focuses on local sustainable foods. Okay, so today we're going to be preparing uh, Lake Superior herring, otherwise known as Cisco tulipi or bluefin. Uh, this is a sustainably harvested fish from Lake Superior. It is delicious. Uh, it's very easy to prepare. Uh, it lends itself well to many different kinds of preparation. It's not uh, very fishy. Um, it is low in heavy metals and PCBs because its diet consists mainly of algae, zooplankton, and small crustaceans and insects. Uh, today we're going to be preparing one simple recipe that anyone can do at home. So today we are going to be preparing a Dijon and rye encrusted herring with a warm German potato salad. Uh, here are our herring fillets, uh, skin off. These actually are not deboned. That's one thing I want to mention about the herring is that they do have these delicate pin bones right down the lateral line of the fish. Uh, and I'm actually going to first remove those before I put the Dijon and rye on them. Um, it's best if you have a fillet knife and if you look really closely it runs down two-thirds of the length of the fish and you can feel where they are with your finger. I'm just going to make a cut below them at an angle and then a thin cut above it and get those pin bones out. Okay, so now that the pin bones are removed, I'm going to pat the fish dry, season it with salt and pepper. I have just plain Dijon and some rye bread that I toasted in the oven at 350 degrees for about 12 minutes, and I pulsed it inside a Roboku. You can also use a, um, a Roboku, actually, it's a food processor, but you can also use a blender um, or even uh, crumble it by hand. Um, so salt and pepper. I have my oven at 450 degrees. This fish will not take long to cook. I'm going to put it inside there for 8 to 12 minutes. Just a thin coating of the Dijon on each filet. Then the toasted rye crumbs on top of that. And afterwards we can get started on the uh, German potato salad. So next we're going to make the German potato salad. Uh, you can use any waxy potato. I have baby fingerling potatoes here. Um, I parboiled them until I could push a knife through them uh, without any real resistance. I cut these on a bias at one inch and then I have four ounces of bacon, uh, uncooked, half of a red onion, one tablespoon of mustard seed, a uh, quarter cup of dill, four uh, sprigs of green onions, and three quarters cup of apple cider vinegar, and one quarter cup of canola oil. I have a pan already hot right here. First, I'm going to render the fat out of the bacon. We don't need nobody. We don't need nothing. None come on to us, so right. We don't need nothing. We don't need nothing. We don't need nobody. We'll plant the seeds and we'll plant for our own. So a couple of minutes before the herring was done, uh, right about the eight minute mark, I took it out of the oven, uh, turned the broiler on high, and stuck it back inside there for just a minute, just enough to brown up the top of the rye. And as you can see, it is broiled to a beautiful golden brown. Uh, now I'm gonna plate it all. Garnish it with a wedge of fresh lemon. And a couple of 
little sprigs of fresh dill. Okay, and not only is this healthy, um, but it's delicious. We don't need nothing, we don't need nobody. We'll plant the seeds and we'll plant for